Once again, welcome back to the lecture series of ICC 9th Maths. In today's video, we are going to start with a new chapter, that is chapter number 5, Simultaneous Linear Equation. My name is Arpita Banerjee and you are watching Arpita Classes. Let's get started. What is Simultaneous Linear Equation? First of all, we will know what is Linear Equation. So, any equation in the form of, say, 2x plus 5 is equal to 10 is a linear equation you know this is a linear equation with one variable why this is a linear equation because the variable has got degree 1 so whenever the variable has got degree 1 it is called as linear equation okay so we know already that if the degree of the equation is 1 then the equation is called as linear equation if the degree of the equation is 2, for example, you have 2x square plus 5x plus 3 equal to 0. Here the degree of the equation is 2 and this type of equation is called as quadratic equation. Okay. If the degree has 3, the equation has a degree 3. For example, we have x cube plus 3x square minus 2x plus 7 equal to 0. So this degree, this equation has a degree 3 and this type of equation is called as cubic equation. Okay, and if the degree of the equation is 4, then we call it as a biquadratic equation. Okay, so this Equation, the name of the equation, they depend on the degree of the polynomial. If the degree is 1, we call it as a linear equation. Now today in this chapter, we are going to study linear equation with two variables. Now here in this particular example, you can see there is only one variable. But if I write an equation like this, 2x plus 5y is equal to 10. Now in this equation, you can see, x has got degree 1, y has also got degree 1. So both of the variables has got degree 1. The entire polynomial has degree 1. So this is a linear equation. But this is a linear equation with two variables. Now when we have a linear equation with two variables, what does it represent? It represents a straight line. If you remember in our previous classes, we used to put the value of x and used to get the corresponding value of y. We used to do the same thing three times and we used to get the values of x and y. We write in our table like this. Suppose for the value of x1, the value of y is coming 3. Suppose I am just uh, taking any absurd values. X, the values of x is uh, uh, suppose 0, the value of y is coming uh, 7 like that. And then we used, to, we used to take at least minimum 3 values and then we used to draw the a graph uh, of this by taking the coordinates and we used to get a straight line. Okay, so linear equation with two variables represent a straight line. Basically linear equation means it is an equation of a line. So it represents a straight line. Now, so you understood what is the meaning of linear equation. Now we will talk about the simultaneous linear equation. So now if we have, suppose we have two linear equations like I am taking the general form of the linear equation. One is a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0, which represents a line. And another one is a2x plus b2y plus c2 equal to 0. So these are the two linear equations. You understood that these are linear equations only because x and y, the degree of them is 1. So the entire polynomial has got degree 1. But the values of a1, b1, c1 are different and accordingly you get two straight lines. Now suppose if we have two straight lines, either the straight lines can be intersecting to each other, okay, intersecting at a common point. They can have this kind of relationship or they can be uh, parallel lines which will never meet, okay, or they can be overlapping lines, means the line one line lays on the other line. So if they are intersecting lines, see this is intersecting lines. 
so very clearly you can see they meet at a common point okay and that is why they have a unique solution we call this is the only one solution for them and that is unique solution if they are parallel lines if they are parallel lines you understand that these two lines will never meet and that is why they have no solution no common solution no points no points common and that is why they have no solution and if they are overlapping lines the other word for overlapping lines is coincidental line co in c dental lines co means same incident means one uh, about the other one so coincidental lines they will have infinitely many solutions all these points on the lines are the solutions for them the common solutions for them so in this case they have infinitely many solutions i hope all of you understood till this now if they are intersecting lines they have unique solution and we have to find out that unique solution that is the value of x and y here to find out the common point where they are intersecting so that is how we are going to solve these two equations simultaneously taking togetherly we are going to solve these two equations now solving how to solve it we are going to uh, talk about it later on we are doing different methods to solve it but since we are solving them together to find out the common point or to find out what they are they are parallel lines whether they have the common point or not or the, so to find out this relationship we are solving them together simultaneously and that is why the name of the chapter is simultaneous linear equation i hope till here it is clear now i am moving on to the solution part how to solve them okay so let me clear everything now there are three methods to solve them the first method the first method is called as substitution method substitution method the second method is known as elimination method and the third method this is elimination method and the third method is called as cross multiplication method so we have got three methods to solve them i'll teach you all the three methods and then we'll do the sums from aris agarwal okay so let me first take one question to solve by substitution method suppose i have the equation 3x minus y is equal to 23 another one is 4x plus 3y is equal to 48 these are the two equations given to us and we have to solve it by substitution method first i am teaching you the first method that is substitution method so what you do is look for the smaller equation this is equation number 1 name them first and look for the smaller equation i can see the first one is a smaller equation so i take the first one and i write from 1 what do i get first equation is 3x minus y is equal to 23 what i do is i set 3x that side so i get minus y is equal to 23 minus 3x now suppose i don't want, want minus in front of y so what i'll do is i'll multiply by minus all the terms so y is equal to 3x minus 23 so i get the value of y from one equation now i'm going to substitute this value of y on the other equation this is called a substitution method you can get, get the value of either of the variable from one of the equation and then substitute that value to the other equation suppose i name this as 3 now since i uh, took it from 1 uh, i got this value from 1 so now i'm going to put this value in equation 2 so i am going to write from 2 and 3 why 2 and 3 because i'm going to put the value of 3 in 2 or you can write down substituting the value of y in equation number 2 so what i'm going to do is 4x plus 3 into in place of y I'm going to write 3x minus 23. So I 
so 3x minus 23 and that is is equal to we get 48 so i substituted the value of y in equation number 2 the value of y which i got from equation 1 i substituted that in equation number 2 so now this is an equation linear equation with one variable now solve it this is 4x sorry So this is 4x plus 9x minus 69 is equal to 48. 4x plus 9x is 13x is equal to 48 plus 69. I sent 69 that side. So we are getting 13x is equal to 117. So x is equal to 117 upon 13 which will give me 9. So the value of x is 9. Now, after getting the value of x, the value of x we got 9. Now, after getting the value of x, you are going to put this value in either of these three equations. Either 1 or 2 or 3. Look for the smaller equation again. I think 3 is the equation where I can put the value of x. So, putting x is equal to 9 in equation equation 3. So, y is equal to 3 into 9 minus 23. So, this is 27 minus 23 that is 4. So, the value of y is 4 over here. So, this is how we can get the value of x and y by using substitution method. Okay, now let me uh, start with the next method that is elimination method. I will be teaching you one sum with elimination method and then we are going to solve the questions from Aris Agarwal. So, in elimination method we are given the two equations again. 4x minus 18 is equal to 3y and 6x plus 7y minus 4. So, name it equation number 2. We will modify the equation little bit. Here I get 3, 3y this side. So, I get 4x minus 3y is equal to 18. Okay, so that is my equation number 1. I just modified it a little bit. And this one, I will be writing 6x plus 7y is equal to 4. So, basically, I put the constant term on the right hand side and the variables in the left hand side. Now, in elimination method, we have to either cancel the x part or the y part. It is your choice. Anyone you can cancel. But we have to cancel one of the variables. So for considering it, we have to first make the coefficients same, right? So what I'll do is to make the coefficient same of the x quantity, I'll multiply this entire equation by 6 and this entire equation by 4. I hope you understand this is 6 into 4, 24 and this is 4 into 6, 24. So the coefficient of x will become 24. So that is the reason I'm doing this. So here we will write down the statement that statement that multiplying multiplying equation 1 by 6 and equation or you can do one thing we can make we can multiply equation 1 you know by 3 okay and equation 2 uh, by by 2 why I'll just tell you Yes, equation C. 3 into 4, 12 and 6 into 2, 12. So, both the cases may, uh, x will become 12x and that is why we are e uh, multiplying equation 1 by 3. So, make it 3 because the, then the equations will become smaller and equation 2, equation 2 by 2. So, now multiply properly. This is 3 into 4 that is 12x minus 9y is equal to 18 into 3 is 54. Here it is 12x plus 14y is equal to 8. Now you can see this is also 12x, this is also 12x. Now to cancel it, the signs has to be opposite. So how we can make the signs opposite? We can subtract the two equations. Let us name them 3 and 4. Now we can do what? 3 minus 4. Subtracting equation 4 from 3. Again write down the two equations. 
12x minus 9y is equal to 54 and 12x plus 14y is equal to 8. Now when you subtract, you change all the signs of the second equation. So this is positive, I made it negative. This is also positive, I made it negative. This is also positive, I made it negative. Now you consider the change sign. 12x minus 12x gets cancelled. Minus and minus this will become minus 14 plus 9 that is 23y. 23y is equal to 54 minus 8. Forty-six. So minus twenty-three y is equal to forty-six. So y is equal to what? Forty-six upon minus twenty-three. That is minus two. So we get the value of y as minus two. Now this value you can substitute substitute in any of the equation in equation one or two or three or four. Now again, as I mentioned, look for the smaller equation. So I think we'll substitute it here in the equation number one. So write down substituting. Or you can write putting, substituting y is equal to minus 2 in equation 1. What is my equation 1? 4x minus 18 is equal to 3 into minus 2. In place of y, I put minus 2. So this will be 4x is equal to minus 6 plus 18. I got 18 that side. So 4x is equal to 12 or x is equal to 12 upon 4 that is 3. So we got the value of x and y that is 3 and minus 2. So I taught you the elimination method, I taught you the substitution method. Now we are going to start the sums from Aris Agarwal. Few sums, since there is no instruction in the question. Suppose if there is no instruction in the question that you solve it by this method or that method, you can use either of the method wherever you are comfortable with. But if it is mentioned in the question that you solve it by substitution or elimination, then you have to use that particular method. So in this question, in, it, in this book, R.S. Agarwal, it is not mentioned. So few sums will be doing by substitution method and few sums will be doing by elimination method. I have taken the first question of R.S. Agarwal 5A exercise. That you two equations are given x plus 2y is equal to 1 and x 3x minus y is equal to 17. Let us solve it by substitution method. So I am finding out the value of x from equation number 1 and that is 1 minus 2y. This is the value of x from equation number 1. And now I will be writing substituting, substituting x is equal to 1 minus 2y in equation 2. So 3 into, in place of x I am going to write 1 minus 2y bracket close minus y is equal to 17. Now let us solve this. This is 3 minus 6y minus y is equal to 17. So it is minus 7y is equal to 17 minus 3. I got the constant on that side. Minus 7y is equal to 14. So the value of y is minus 2. Now once you got the value of y, you can put it in either of these two equations and even in equation number 3 as well. This is equation 3. So now you can write down putting y is equal to minus 2 in equation 3. So x is 1 minus 2 into minus 2. So that is 1 minus into minus will become 2 2 are 4. So x is equal to 5. So the value of x is equal to 5. So I just explained the methods today and uh, did one sum from Aris Agarwal. In our next video, we are going to solve all the sums uh, from Aris Agarwal exercise 5A. Stay tuned and uh, if you are liking what we are doing, please subscribe the channel and like our videos. Thank you so much. Stay tuned.